Take lithium, top of the alkali metals, cuts with a knife and reacts with water. Take sodium, cuts easier with a knife and reacts more vigorously with water. And then there's potassium, softer still and even more reactive in water. And finally there's rubidium, so soft it's liquid on a hot day. Just one drop in water can cause quite a stir. And now, the replay. <laughs> Welcome back. And let's waste no more time as we meet the three lovely non-metal ladies who are hoping to be chosen by today's lucky metallic fella. <laughs> Well, look at you, contestant number eight. You look absolutely gorgeous. What are you called and where do you come from? Hi, Stella. <laughs> My name's Oxygen, though people just call me O. Oh. 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 Mm. Where do I live? Well, I live everywhere and nowhere. Basically, Stella, wherever you find life, you'll find me. Oh, oh lovely, but Oxygen. Tell us where your earthbound home is. Right. Well, my earthbound house is number eight, Upper East Side in Group Six. That's in between Groups Five and Seven. <laughs> now, I understand that you once worked with the Fire Brigade, but you weren't very popular. Why? Well, I just can't bear to see things dying, even flames. So every time someone would put out a fire, I'd come along and relight it. Oh dear, number eight. What sort of element attracts you? I'm not fussy, really. There was someone called Phosphorus recently, and we really got on. <laughs> Our bloke had better watch out if he chooses you, number eight. <laughs> He'd better watch out in case she bores him to death. Oh, pardon us, madam. Now, number nine, tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Florine. I live on the Upper East Side, where all the girls know how to look after themselves. And I am the leader of Group 7. And what sort of element do you go for? I react with anything. In fact, I'd say I'm everyone's dream date. Okay, Miss Perfect. But I think you've got a few nasty little habits, and take a look at this. Yes, if it's viciousness you're after, then Florine is the girl for you. She will light your cigarette without a match and smoke it before you get a chance to draw breath. Now that's what I call a quick fire. Ooh. Moving swiftly on to you, number 10. Tell us where you come from and a bit about yourself. Oh, it's my turn. You can call me Noble Neon. I live at number 10 in Group Zero, where all noble gases reside. Well, we're honoured, I'm sure. And what do you do, Noble Neon? I don't really do anything. I just am. Oh, my. So, what sort of partner are you looking for today? Do you seriously think I would be looking for a partner? I wouldn't look for one, even if I wanted one, which I don't. I'm quite happy on my own. I have a perfect set of electrons, the perfect octet. Well, don't mind me for asking, but what exactly have you come on the show for? Well, I spend all my time making other people famous, putting their name in lights. And I thought it was time for me to grab my own three minutes of fame. Well, let's meet the lad who's going to choose from these three lovely ladies, and what a tough job he's got. <laughs> Despite our reputation, we reactive battles are just a bunch of softies. We have to keep ourselves well oiled to keep the air off our skin. That way, we stay soft and shiny. Ooh, I see. Now, tell us what are you called and where are you from? Well, my full name is Lithium, but my friends call me Lee. I live at the top of group one at number three, where all the cool guys hang out. <laughs> and don't we know it? We've had a few of your neighbors on today. <laughs> and you had my ideal partner on, Chlorine. Oh, I wish I had a chance to get together with her. 
then you would see some real chemistry. Now, what's your question, love? I'm very fond of parties because it gives me a chance to show off my party tricks. <laughs> if I were to invite you to my party, what trick would you do to impress me? And that question goes to number eight. Hi, Ali. I love parties too. My friends say I'm a real guest. And as I've got a great pair of lungs, my trick would be to sing you my favorite song. I'm your desire, don't leave me. Don't give up your day job, though. Let's move on, Lithium. The same question to number nine. If you want to see my party trick, I'd advise you to tell your other guests to stand well back and watch this. Fluorine and a hydrogen balloon. Fluorine and cotton wool. Sulfur dropped into fluorine gas. And finally, iodine in fluorine. Crikey, I hope you're well insured, love. <laughs> I'll move on. And uh, some question to number 10, please. What was the question? What is your party trick? I don't do party tricks. I'm a noble gas. Oh. He doesn't do anything. But anyway, it's make your mind up time, Lee. So here's our Gregory to give us a quick reminder of all three of our look. <laughs> all three girls. Well, Lithium, will you choose contestant number eight, Oxygen, who says she'll be a breath of fresh air in your life and promises to relight your fire? Or will it be number nine, Feisty Fluorine, who guarantees a date with her will be a gas, but cannot guarantee you will survive the evening? Or perhaps you'll choose Mabel Neon, who will light up her own life, but will she want to light up yours? Lithium, the choice is yours. So who's it going to be, Lee? <laughs> I was tempted by number nine, but she's been too scary. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to jump for the high life and choose number ten. After all, it's not every day I get to go out with noble gas. Well, <laughs> let's meet the two that you turned down. First, our nature-loving number eight, floating our oxygen. <laughs> of fresh air. Mm, too late now though, love. She's gone and here's another one that's gone. <laughs> well, I think you had a lucky escape, love, but here's your date, the Noble Neon. <laughs> I think I'll go and find Chlorium before she gets the bus home. Oh, poor lithium. Now that was an example of no reaction. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know the secrets of good chemistry, consult the love table.